this is chapter three, section four, parallel and perpendicular lines notes. The learning objective is to relate parallel and perpendicular lines. The first item we see is theorem 3 8, which says if two lines are parallel to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. For example, if A is parallel to B, A is parallel to B, and B is parallel to C, kind of like the transitive property, then we can say A is parallel to C. All right, so theorem 3-9 says if in a plane, if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. If two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then those lines are parallel to each other. For example, here, Line M is perpendicular to line T. Line N is perpendicular to line T. Then um, M is parallel to N. <laughs> All right, so let's look at a proof of theorem 3, 9. In a plane, line R is perpendicular to line T and line S is perpendicular to line T. Thankfully, this is really short. We're going to prove that line R is parallel to line S. So the first thing we need to know is angle 1 and 2 are right angles by the definition of perpendicular. So being perpendicular means you are a right angle. That's the definition. So we can say angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And since corresponding angles are congruent, line R is parallel to line S. All right, so let's see the application of this. Actually, I should go back and make sure I have everything underneath. Okay. So problem number one, solving a problem with parallel lines. Carpentry. A carpenter plans to install molding on the sides and the top of a doorway. The carpenter cuts the ends of the top piece and one end of each side pieces at 45 ang degree angles as shown. Carpenter, what's this called? What kind of cut? It's a bevel! Oh, y'all are tired. It's a bevel! This is a bevel cut. Okay. Will the side pieces of molding be parallel and explain? So what we know is that the angles at the connecting ends are 45 degrees. We need to determine whether the side pieces of molding are parallel. We're going to try to fit the pieces together to form new angles and use information about the new angles to decide whether the, siding, the sides are parallel. So from the information given, we can say yes, the sides are parallel. When you put the pieces together, 45 plus 45 equal a 90 degree angle. So each side is perpendicular to the top. If each side is perpendicular to the top, then they are parallel to each other. All right, so let's look at these pieces here. Can you assemble the pieces at the right to form a picture frame with opposite sides? Parallel and explain. Give you a second to think about it. So if we reform these, where we have our 60 degrees on the top and our 60 degree on the bottom, and we rotate our two 30 degree pieces, then we can say because this angle here is 60, this angle here is 30, And that's true over here as well. That 60 plus 30 equals 90. All 
All right, so if 30 plus 60 equals 90, so since both corners, um, equal 90, then the sides are parallel. All right, 3 dash 10 perpendicular transversal theorem. The perpendicular transversal theorem says in a plane, if a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it's also perpendicular to each other. So if we've already established that the lines are parallel, and you say, and, and we know that the one of those lines is perpendicular to a transversal, we can say that it's also perpendicular to the other one. So you get both. All right, so let's look at our example problem number two. In a plane, C is perpendicular to B, B is perpendicular to D, and D is perpendicular to A. They've shown all these given items by putting the perpendicular mark on our diagram, which is what I would expect you guys to do in the same situation. If you, number one, make a diagram, and number two, put the perpendicular marks. Anytime they give you information, make sure that given information is on your diagram. We want to prove that C is perpendicular to A, and so we will put that as a yellow mark, because we're proving it. So C is perpendicular to A. And we don't know that yet. We have to prove it. Okay. Line C and D are both perpendicular to line B. So C is perpendicular to D. So we're going to put those marks. And to show that lines are perpendicular, it's a little arrow mark. because two lines perpendicular to the same line are parallel. It is given that D is perpendicular to A, therefore C is perpendicular to A, because a line that is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines is also perpendicular to the other. So in, let's look at our got it. In problem number two, could you also conclude that A is parallel to B and explain? Oh yeah, I clipped. The answer is yes. A is parallel to B because they're both parallel to D. And in a plane, two lines perpendicular to the same line are parallel. 